everybody. Look at this. I'm so excited for this show. I'm excited for every show, of course. But um, I have a special guest on here. And can you guess who it is? <laughs> no guest anymore. Okay, fine. You're just, he's a regular. He's a regular on the show now. We have Chad, who's at work, and it's so funny because um, I'm getting so many messages from people saying, "Is Chad going to be on the show?" And we are joking around like we get so many more views on the show when Chad's on it. So apparently, it's not the Jen show anymore. It's the Chad. See, you can't have tea with Chad tonight. You're like Chad on the truck night. I could have if we had planned this. I we could have, but anyway. yeah, it was. It was right under the gun, man. We were just like right the last second. We got Chad on here, and I'm like, "Hey, just come on." He actually was your idea. It was my idea. I was just yeah. joking. I'll give you full credit. Oh, you were? Did you see her joking? <laughs> yeah, actually, go for it. All right, let's do it, man. You never, you never know what's going to happen because uh, Chad could get a call literally at any minute, right? Good. Yep. I'm like, expect the unexpected. So we're gonna, if Chad gets a call, we're gonna go for a ride. Wouldn't that be cool? See how those ratings go. <laughs> you see what I Right? Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, I want you guys, I'm, I was trying to think, how can we put this in with spirituality? But uh, being at work, and it's a very egotistical environment, would you say? Yes. Yeah. Very. Do the guys know you're on the show right now? No. I just I told say? I just, they're eating dinner right now. I just said I'm FaceTiming. Oh, you're FaceTiming. Oh, this is called for FaceTiming. That's okay. You don't want to tell them you're on a psychic radio show with your wife? <laughs> They'll all be out here just heckling. You don't want that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So it's a very egotistical environment. And would you say, like, any, do you think any of the guys believe in this kind of stuff? Uh, in general, I don't think so. Or if they do, they're not going to say they do. They want to admit it? I don't think so. Okay. There's but some. Good for you that you do. Yes, yeah, I do. Do you ever, like sit around and talk about ghosts all day apparently not i'm sure you don't talk about that doesn't no. come up no <laughs> <laughs> not really. so so um have you had any experience with spirit at the fire station not at the station no well what about signs from spirit or you know oh, your loved ones of spirit hanging out no, there's, yeah we've covered that though yeah well, th the audience hasn't heard that story though I think they probably heard enough of me by now. No, no. They do. They want you on the show, so you have to tell us. <laughs> do the feathers and the dimes the one time? Yes. We... Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I have... can you share that? Uh, yeah. There was just feathers all over my old station, and then I was finding dimes in ridiculous spots on the truck. It didn't make sense. Like what? Like Where was... Up holder. Okay. It's my up holder story. You know how you pull your... The cup holder, you pull your cup out of the cup holder and the liner of the holder came out and there was a dime underneath the holder. Interesting. I wonder how Spirit yeah. did that. They're tricky. And I bet you didn't say, hey guys, look, I got a dime. Look at me. Spirit's no. trying to get my attention. No? Didn't say that. <laughs> okay. No. Well, for those of you who are, I'm sure you guys, I'm just assuming that everyone understands what we're talking about is that um, Spirit, our loved ones in Spirit like to leave us little presents and uh, they can't go to Walmart as I say. So they choose from a ethereal, ethereal shelf. And some of the things that they like to give us are dimes, pennies, feathers. And so this was happened a few years ago, right? When you're at a different fire station. Butterfly too. Remember the little the little butterfly that was sorry, that was uh, flying around. I think I have a yeah. video. Can I send a video of that to you? Yeah, but that was a long time ago. But yeah, you did. You came home one day and I you're like, look at I got this blue jay feather in the station, and you had like a dime right by your boot too, didn't you? One time. I'm like, uh, it happened all at once. It happened all at a very short time frame. Yeah. So spirit likes to not only just like first ten years. It was. Yeah. Hmm. Well, spirit likes to not only like show you that they're around you, but with Chad's job, what they're probably most likely doing is also showing Chad that they're sort of around him, surrounding him, protecting him that kind of thing and giving him little signs to know. And lucky for you, we have a wife who understands all of that. Cause if you were not married to me, you probably would be looking around going, Oh, and you wouldn't even notice these things. You just think they're coincidence or random. Yeah. Just a bunch it's, of dimes. Just a bunch of dimes just fell from the sky. It's explainable, right? It's like, there yeah. could have been, there could have been a dime in the truck. Cause you guys, you know, you like go on calls and buy stuff. Like that doesn't make any sense. No. 
Yeah, that's awesome. Has anything else ever happened to you? Like, uh, do you have any calls that where you feel like maybe spirit came in? Oh, I know. What about the time you was a car accident and you <laughs> saw a soul leaving yeah. that guy's body? Tell us about that one. Uh, the car accident with the light. Or not a light. It was hard to explain. It wasn't a light. It was just a... I don't know what it was. Just a thing that rose up. But that was before we knew that they were gone. So that was weird. Uh-huh. And I didn't until later when I was thinking about it. So. Yeah. So you saw... You literally saw like their light body leaving before you knew they were other confirmed. Guy. I know one other guy who's, who's seen that similar situation too another firefighter mm-hmm. yep. and did he say anything about it or did he just what did he say no just that he'd seen that yeah they play cards and you were like hey did you see that light <laughs> did you see that soul leave that guy's body <laughs> no i don't know how it came up i think he knew what you you were doing so that's how it came up yeah. that's usually Good. a cool leeway into you know talking about that kind of stuff with other men who are very logical and sciencey, and you know, when they see things that are unexplainable, you know, it's good to have maybe another dude like he like pull you aside and say, "Yo, Abra, four eight seven, did you see that guy leave his body?" <laughs> sure, Peter. Yeah, it doesn't really come out. No one talks about stuff though after. You know what I mean? So that's pretty rare. But I've known that this guy for a long time. So. So why why can you just explain to everyone like I know, but like why? Do you think you guys don't talk about anything traumatic that happens, like people dying all the time? And as we do, but it's not, it's not, uh, it's hard to explain. It's not, um, it's not that big a deal. Like to everyone else would be a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal in terms of it's not a major thing for us. We expect it. Mm-hmm. And the first couple of times it's kind of weird. Then after that, it's just, you know, it's part of the gig. Yeah. Well, I think it's cool. I think it's really cool that, you know, you're doing a family cool job that every kid wants their dad to be a firefighter, right? That's just like a really cool job. And then. Yeah, but I'm lucky too because I got my dream job. So. Yeah. And you manifested your dream job. Yep. Yep. It did take a lot of work and hard action, but you got it. Took a lot of KD and sleeping on a futon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nobody knows about that time in our lives, except for maybe our families. Yeah. So, you know, and message to people, if you're struggling right now and you've got this really big dream that you want to do, don't give up. Because we literally sacrificed so much. Like, we didn't spend money on anything. We ate, like Chad said, craft dinner. Like, we were going to call our podcast. Are we going to call it craft dinner in a futon or something? Yeah, craft dinner on a futon or something like that. Craft dinner on a futon. Yeah, that's literally what we did to get where we are today. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. But I, I wouldn't trade, trade it. We bought that few time. Yes, I remember. Yeah, and back then, we had no idea about any of this. Anything spirit-led, anything having to do with spirit at all. We were just very, you know, in our day-to-day lives, surviving kind of thing. We had no idea what was to come. No. Yeah. Yeah, which is, yeah. A, which is a cool part. Say that again. I didn't hear you. Uh, we didn't see this coming. No, we didn't. I was not psychic back then. That would have been helpful. But even if I was psychic back then and I had seen the future of what we were going to go through and, you know, who are we, who are we going to turn out to be and all the cool things that we do, um, I wouldn't have believed them. Would you? No. Although the lottery number thing keeps coming up. Someone was like, how come she can't tell you the lottery? <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. I, like, I ah. cannot, you know what? To be fair, I could get a couple of the numbers. I've got a couple of numbers before, and I've actually played them and got, like, because before, it's a lot of the belief, too. If you don't believe, you can, I think if you can never believe that you would win the lottery, it's hard to believe to win. But I can actually get a couple of numbers. I've got a couple of numbers, right, with the numbers that I haven't given, but they've never given me all of them. you kind of cheating, too, so. Yeah, it's just more fun if you're like, surprise, you just won the lottery. <laughs> you do it over and over and over again. So. Right? Then I would be a millionaire all the time, and then. I wouldn't be doing the things that I would learn the things that I'm learning. I wouldn't meet the people that I'm learning. I'd be in space with Jeffrey Bezos, probably. Could be, yeah. Yeah. I have that song in my head right now. That's why I said it. Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> it's, a, it's a TikTok song. You don't go on there, so you don't know. Yeah. I... 
Yeah. Well, you didn't get a call, which is kind of good for me because Chad knows I don't like to see him go on calls. If we're on FaceTime, I'm like, don't get a call around here because I don't want to see him go. I mean, maybe another show would be cool if you actually get a call and then you have to go and take us on a take us on a ride along. But it was really cool that you got to be on here. Um, are you going to eat your dinner now? Eventually, yeah, I think so. Well, thank you for coming on the show again. People love when you're on the show. Cool. Yeah, because you're cool. I'm okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well, Chad can't join the after party. It's okay, because I'm going to go do that on Instagram right now. So if you want to join for the after party and get some free readings from me every Wednesday night at 8.30, go to Instagram, elevate.hersoul. Don't forget the dot. I'll see you over there. I won't see Chad. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Don't forget my tea. I won't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks, everybody. Bye, honey. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.